Hey guys, Chris with HobbyKing.com coming at you with another daily. Today we're actually talking about the Alexmos uh, brushless gimbal controller. Let's go through a couple of these features on this thing. So right now I have it set up on a handheld gimbal uh, to kind of show off some of the options. Right now I've got it set up with three modes. You have five modes available via a switch and of course RC control as well as FC control that can incorporate into the board to control these features. Right now I'm going to go into mode one which is basically stabilization on all three axes. So I'll press the button, wait two seconds, and watch what's going to happen to the camera. I can yaw it back and forth and pitch, and no matter what I do, the camera's going to stay focused on whatever the target is and stabilized. I'm going to put it in a mode two, which is yaw follow. Yaw follow basically still gives me stabilization in roll and pitch, but in yaw, you can see the camera is going to start tracking my motions so I can follow cars and stuff like that or planes or whatever you're doing. Now mode 3 essentially will track and pitch as well. So no matter where I point it, it's going to stabilize. I still got stabilization here but if I pan it down or up, it's going to follow and pitch as well as yaw. So let's go ahead and put this to the test. We've got Herman behind me filming. We're gonna film a couple scenes with him holding a standard cam camera like you would, and we'll do it uh, side by side with a stabilized gimbal, and we'll compare them side by side. We'll see you back in a second. take a look at it. First thing I'm going to show you is actually the easy to use user interface. Now it's one of the best GUIs for brushless gimbal controllers. Uh, it scares a lot of people. They don't know how to tune them. There's a lot of information on the web as far as setting them up for either handheld gimbals or airborne gimbals. Uh, I'll just show you a couple of screens. What's really nice is that it has different profiles selectable. You can either do it through an RC channel or a switch for a handheld gimbal. Now the first screen essentially is just basic, your pits for tuning out vibrations, uh, you know, if it's shaking, hunting, um, there's a lot of information like I said on the web about doing that. And the advanced screen, it just gives you some options on how you drive the motors. Uh, I'm going to switch over, you got RC settings which actually gives you RC controls so you are able to uh, control how the pitch and pan and tilt are controlled. Uh, this particular one, we've got a three axis setup. Uh, as well as it can plug into your FC and take the data from that so it can essentially predetermine if it's going to have hard acceleration so it knows to ramp up amperage or, or voltage accordingly. I'm going to jump on over to follow mode which is a real nice feature for the people that are utilizing it for handheld gimbals. Uh, this mode allows essentially the camera to track its motion and you can set up the parameters in here for thresholds so it can move X amount before it starts tracking or wider or maybe you're wanting to move it fast so you have tighter tolerances on it. It's easy to set up and what's really cool is that there are five available profiles in this. So you essentially can, uh, with the button on the back of this, just click it once for profile one, two times for profile two, etc. Uh, each profile could actually be the same thing, just tighter tolerances or a follow mode. All right guys, that was a lot of fun. Check it out, it's the Quantum Alexmos brushless gimbal controller. We have it in two axes and three axes available. It's on the new items page. Great for handheld gimbals for your uh, indie film guys that want to jump in and, and get something a little more professional looking and perfect for your flight controller as well to augment on uh, multi-rotors for aerial photography. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll check you next time.